Some folks are freaked out when they see a GD&T symbol on a drawing, especially if it's a true position symbol. However, you should be delighted to find it because it offers you a bonus tolerance that will make your life easier. Hello, everybody. Erez here from the Machining Doctor website. Stay tuned and let me show you everything you need to know about it. These are the topics we will cover. What is the difference between position and true position? The position tolerance callout format. Then, we will compare a practical example in three tolerancing cases. Conventional tolerancing. Position tolerance. And position tolerance with the maximum material condition. Stick around until the end, where I will share an online true position calculator that does all the heavy lifting for you. There is often a confusion between the terms position and true position. Let's start by clarifying this point. Position is a tolerance callout that defines the allowable variation in the location of a feature from its ideal position. In this example, the center of the 14 mm bore must be within 0.1 mm from its theoretical position. True position is the exact theoretical location of a feature. It represents the perfect location that the feature should ideally have. In this example, it is 9 mm in X and Y away from the corner. To summarize, true position represents the target location. And position tolerance indicates the acceptable deviation from this target. Now, let's see how it is marked on the drawings. True position is indicated by box numbers. And the position tolerance is defined by several boxes in the feature control frame. Let's go over them one by one. The position symbol indicates that all the subsequent symbols and numbers correspond to a position tolerance. The diameter symbol is not mandatory. If present, it indicates that the feature and tolerance are diametrical. Since the position tolerance is most often used on holes and shafts, you will usually see it. In such a case, the position deviation is multiplied by 2. Position tolerance is the maximum deviation allowed from the true position. Next, we have the material condition, which is not mandatory. If present, it can be L for least material condition, or M for maximum material condition. In most cases, M is used, but more on that later. Lastly, we have the datums, which indicate the planes or axes from which the true position is measured from. We started this video by saying that the position tolerance is our friend. Let's understand why by looking at a practical example. We will explore the same drawing in three variations. Conventional tolerance, position tolerance, and position with maximum material condition. In the conventional method, the position of the 14 mm bore should be between 8.9 and 9.1 on both X and Y axes. Suppose we measure the part and got distances of 9.17 and 8.95 with a bore diameter of 14.1. In this case, the part would be non-conforming because 9.17 is larger than 9.1. Now, we have the same part with a drawing using a position tolerance, calling for a maximum position deviation of 0.1 mm. To check if the part is okay, we need to calculate the position deviation using the position formula. In our case, it will be 2 times the square root of 9 minus 9.17 squared plus 9 minus 8.95 squared. The result is 0.35, which is the distance of the bore from its true position. The part is non-conforming in this case, since 0.35 is larger than 0.1 which is the maximum allowed deviation. However, true position is almost always used alongside maximum material condition, marked by a circled M. Before we go on, let's understand what it means. When added to a position callout, it indicates that the tolerance should be considered when the controlled feature has the maximum amount of material within its dimensional tolerance. In our case, it means that the 0.1 position tolerance is linked to the case where the bore is 13.8 mm. Why 13.8? Because when the bore is at its minimum size, 
the part has more material. So, let's reevaluate the position tolerance, but this time around with MMC. The position formula and calculation are the same and are still 0.35. But as I explained, the 0.1 position tolerance is now linked to 13.8, which is the MMC of the bore. Since the measured bore diameter of 14.1 is 0.3 larger than the MMC, we can add this 0.3 to 0.1, and the new position tolerance is now 0.4. This extra is nicknamed the bonus tolerance. Since 0.4 is larger than 0.35, the part is now okay. To avoid confusion with these delicate calculations, I recommend you use the True Position Calculator on the Machining Doctor website, which does all of that for you. I shared the link to it in the video description. So that's it for today. I hope you found the video informative and helpful. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. See you on the next one. Bye.